my name is Karen and welcome to day 22 of the Fundamental Bent Pilates Workout. Find a place where you can lay down comfortably and lay down on your back. We'll begin with imprinting. Take a deep breath in, filling up your lungs. And blow it all out, feeling your back get heavy into the mat. Again, inhale. And exhale, pressing each individual vertebra into the mat. Again, big deep breath in. And exhale, letting your back melt into the mat. Two more, inhale. And exhale, pressing each piece of your back into the mat. And last one, inhale. And exhale, melt, letting your back melt like butter. Moving on to breathing, take a deep breath in. And exhale and funnel everything into your waist, making it smaller. Again, inhale. And exhale and skinny up that waist. Inhale. Exhale, make your waist smaller. Two more, inhale. Exhale, move into the center line of the body. And last one, inhale. And exhale and pull everything in toward the center line. Moving on to iso abs. Make a triangle with your thumb and four fingers and place it on your lower abdomen with your thumbs at your belly button, fingertips falling towards your pubic bone, and heel of your hands out towards your hip bones. Make sure that triangle is level with the floor, that it's not rolling toward or tilting toward your face or tilting toward your legs, but it's in between where it's nice and level. As you exhale, sink that triangle down toward the floor. Inhale and try to keep the triangle there. Again, exhale, using your abs to draw the triangle closer to the floor. Inhale and keep it there. Exhale, sink that triangle a little bit more. Inhale and keep it there. Two more, exhale, lower that triangle a little closer to the floor. Inhale and keep it there. Last one, exhale, lower that triangle a little more. Inhale and keep it there. Arms can go down by your side. Next is clockwork. Imagine that you have a marble in the middle of your pelvis. As you exhale, you're going to roll that marble towards your heart by tilting your pelvis backward. Inhale, tilt that pelvis forward to roll the marble between your legs. And again, exhale, tilt that pelvis backward. Inhale and tilt it forward. Exhale, feel your low back get close to the mat. Inhale, feel your tailbone get close to the mat. And two more. Exhale, rolling that marble to the heart. Inhale, roll it away from your heart. Last one. Exhale, tilt your pelvis backward. And inhale and tilt it forward. Go ahead and settle back into that neutral pelvis position where the pelvis is level with the floor. Um, rib cage arms, arms reach up toward the ceiling. Plug those shoulder blades into the mat and feel your rib cage pressing heavy into the mat. Exhale as you reach your arms overhead, keeping the rib cage heavy in the mat. Inhale and reach the arms up toward the ceiling. Exhale, reach long toward the wall behind you. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, reach longer toward that wall. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Two more. Exhale, reach long. Try to touch the wall behind you. Inhale, reach up and try to touch the ceiling. Two more. Last one. Pilates instructors can't count. And inhale, back up to the ceiling. Arms go down by your side. Head nods. Keep the back of your head in contact with the mat as you exhale and lengthen the back of your neck. Inhale, lift the chin toward the ceiling. Exhale, lengthen the back of that neck. Inhale and lift the chin. Exhale and lengthen. Inhale and lift. Two more. Exhale, lengthen. 
Inhale, lift. Last one, exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift. Adding the neck curl, exhale, begin with the head nod, then fold in half at the ribs, reaching the arms along by your side. Inhale as you roll down piece by piece to lay back down. Again, exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, stretch the spine as you lower back down. And again, exhale, lengthen and lift. Keep the abs drawing in and up. Roll down bone by bone by bone. Two more. Exhale, lengthen, fold in half. Inhale, stretch the spine to lower back down. Last one. Exhale, lengthen and lift. And then grow long as you roll down bone by bone by bone. Knee folds. Keep that pelvis nice and neutral. Abs in deep as you pull your right knee in towards your chest. And then lower it back down. Alternating legs. Left knee comes in on the exhale. Inhale to lower down. Use the abs. Pull the knee in. The abs resist the lower of the knee. And again, on the left. And lower it back down. And again, pull the right knee in towards your chest. Inhale to lower, left knee comes in toward your chest. Inhale to lower, one more on each side. Inhale as you lower, really draw the abs in and up to lift that knee. Keep scooping to lower as you resist it back down. Go ahead and roll over onto your tummy for flight. Arms are long by your side, reaching your fingertips toward your toes. Abdominals are scooping as if you're going to lift them right up off the floor and your shoulder blades are sliding down in toward your back pockets. You can rest your forehead lightly on the mat or if that's uncomfortable, you can just leave it hovering slightly off the mat. Lift your head and chest as you reach your fingertips more toward your toes and then lengthen through the crown of the head to lower down. Again, exhale, reach the fingertips to lift. Inhale as you stretch the spine and lower. Two more. Inhale, reach to lift. Inhale, lengthen to lower. Last one. In, or exhale, lift. Sorry, inhale, lift. Exhale and lower back down. Go ahead and sit all the way up for seated tracking. Legs are out straight and your spine is stacked as much as it can be with the legs straight. And you want to make sure to line up the middle of your foot with the middle of your shin, your knee, your thigh, and your hip joint. The focus on this exercise is that alignment of the foot with the rest of the leg. Reaching through the heels to start, press through the balls of the feet, lengthen the toes, pull the toes back, and press through the heels. Again, press through the balls of the feet to lengthen the toes, pull the toes back, and press through the heels. Two more, really focusing on the alignment of that foot with the leg. And last one, press through the heels, or through the balls of the feet to the toes, pull the toes back, and press through the heels. Go ahead and roll back down onto your back for our knee spreads. Knees and feet are together this time. Abs are scooping deeply as you inhale and open the knees wide to the side. Exhale, deepen the abs and lift the knees back up. Again, inhale, open wide. Exhale, scoop the abs to pull the knees back up. Two more. Inhale, lengthen the knees out wide like you're reaching the sides of the room. Exhale, scoop deeply to pull back up. Last one. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, draw the abs in and up to lift the knees. Knee sways. Knees reach over to the right as the left shoulder stays on the floor. Then exhale and pull the abs in to lift the knees back up toward the ceiling. Then the knees go over to the left as the right shoulder stays on the floor. Scoop the abs to lift the knees up toward the ceiling. Again, over to the right. Pull your abs back toward the floor to lift those knees back up. And again, over to the left. Abs pulling in deeply to lift the knees up. And again, over to the right. Really reach through those knees like you're going to touch the wall over on the side of the room. Scoop to pull back up. And over to the left. Deepen those abs and pull back up. One more on each side. Scoop deeply to come back up. Last one over to the left. And come all the way back up. Go ahead and flip back over onto your tummy for our goalpost arms. 
Abs are scooping deeply, arms are straight out from the shoulder bent to the elbow, shoulder blades are sliding down toward your back pockets, and again, the forehead can either rest lightly on the floor, or you can hover it slightly off the floor. Press the elbows into the floor to lift the hands up off the floor, and then lower down. And again, press the elbows to lift the hands, and lower. Press the elbows to lift the hands, and lower. One more, press the elbows to lift the hands, and lower. Go ahead and flip back over onto your back for our um, leg slides. Legs are open about hip bone distance apart with knees bent, feet flat on the floor, abs scooping deeply. You want to try to keep that pelvis in neutral. Press the right heel into the mat as you lengthen the leg out long. Scoop deeply to pull the knee back in. Same leg. Press down and out to lengthen long. Scoop and pull back in. Two more. Press down and out, trying to reach the wall in front of you. Abs deepen and pull back in. Last one. Press down and stretch that body. And scoop to pull back in. Left side. Press the heel down and lengthen out. Scoop the abs to pull back in. And again, press down and lengthen out, reaching long. Abs deepen to pull back in. And again, press down and try to touch the wall out in front of you with your heel. And scoop the abs and pull back in. Last one, press down and lengthen long. And deepen the abs to pull back in. The hundred. Begin with your head, back, neck curl, and pull your knees in towards your chest. Begin to pump the arms as you inhale for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, filling the lungs. Exhale, empty the lungs. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale, reach the arms long. Exhale, deepen the abs. Inhale, reach through the crown of the head. Exhale, try to fold in half a little more. We have five more breaths. And blow it all out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. You have two more breaths. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And go ahead and sit all the way up. Seated roll backs, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. You want your legs open about hip bone distance apart. Grab behind the thighs and sit up tall. Exhale and roll your marble to the heart, just like we did with clockwork, to round the spine. Inhale, sit back up, stacking on top of your sit bones. Again, exhale, tilt that pelvis backward to round the spine. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, round, keeping the length between the vertebrae. Inhale, grow taller as you sit back up. Three more. Exhale, round that spine. Inhale, sit up even taller. Two more. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, sit up. Last one. Really start by tilting that pelvis backward, and that makes the spine round on top. And then inhale, grow tall up toward the ceiling. Go ahead and roll all the way down. You can challenge yourself by letting go if you want. And begin with the one leg circle. Take one knee right over the hip bone. Both legs can be bent. Take your leg across the body, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. We have three more, keeping that body nice and anchored on the floor. Only the leg moves. Last one, and reverse. Out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. Really press your body into the mat. It really helps to anchor and keep that body nice and still. One more, and change legs. And take the leg across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Three more, keep scooping those abs, in and up. Last one, and reverse. Out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. We have three more. Really keeping that body, that leg within the frame of the mat, so you don't want to go out too far to the side. And teeter-totter, pull both knees in toward your chest, press your um, thighs, the backs of your thighs into your hands, hands into the thighs, head nod and neck curl to look down your shirt, and using the abs to teeter-totter, rock back and forth, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sit all the way up for our abs series, single leg stretch. 
Pull one knee in towards your chest, the other leg slides out long on the floor, and slide the legs like grasshopper to change legs. And switch, and switch, and switch. Press that heel into the floor as you slide it down and out, just like we do with our leg slides. That helps activate the glutes and the hamstrings. And switch, and switch. One more on each side, and double leg stretch. Pull both knees in towards your chest, Inhale as you lengthen out and away. Exhale, scoop deeply to pull in. Inhale away. Exhale, pull back in. Inhale, arms and legs extend. Exhale, pull back in. Inhale, grow longer through your spine. Exhale, keep the length. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, scoop deeply. Last one. Inhale away. And exhale, pull in. Spine stretch forward. Sit up nice and tall. It's more important that you be sitting up straight than that your legs be straight. So if you need to bend your legs to sit up straight, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, you can have your legs straight, arms reaching forward. Imagine you're sitting against a wall and exhale as you peel the spine off the wall, starting at the head, working through the upper back and through the middle back, and then inhale and stack up tall against that wall. Again, exhale, peel your spine off, lengthening through that head, Inhale and stack back up. We have three more. Empty out those lungs. And remember, it's spine stretch forward. So we're stretching that spine. And then inhale and grow tall. You're still going to stretch it as you sit up tall. Exhale and round forward. We're really growing the spaces between the vertebrae as we stack back up. Last one. Exhale and round forward. Inhale and grow tall, stacking up against that imaginary wall. So, arms go out to the side, rotate to one side, and round forward, just like you did, but rotate it and reach, reach deeper, reach deeper. Inhale, roll up and rotate to the other side. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. Inhale, roll up and rotate. Exhale, reach. Anchor the opposite hip into the mat. Inhale, roll up and rotate. Exhale, try to twist a little further with each reach. Inhale, roll up and rotate. Last one on each side. And rotate. Exhale as you reach. Really rotating that body. Inhale, roll up. Come back to center. Bring the arms and legs together. And go ahead and, if you can, challenge yourself to roll down. Otherwise, you can use those hands to get you down. And roll onto your side for a side kick. Line your body up with the back edge of the mat. Arm can either be long on the mat with your head resting on your, on your upper arm, or you can take your hand behind your head. Eventually, we'll be here. For now, top hand is either flat on the floor or a fist, and your feet go to the front edge of that mat. We want to try to keep both sides of the body long. We're really focusing on this one because that's the one that's easy to collapse. Starting with front and back, lift that top leg long, reach it long toward the wall out there in front of you. And take the leg to the front, double kick, sweep it long to the back, double kick. And front, front, sweep it back. And front, front, and back, back. Two more, keeping the body nice and still, only the leg moves. And ups and downs, top leg over bottom leg, turn that leg out, lift it up long, lengthen longer to lower. Really spiral that leg, turning it up more as you lift, lengthen longer to lower. Keep the hips stacked. So this is not a try to get it behind your head. You want to keep those hips nice and stacked. Last one. And inner thigh lifts in circles. Go ahead and grab that ankle if you can. Plant the foot on the floor and take the bottom leg to the back of the mat. Lift the bottom leg, reach it long, and lower it down. Lift, lengthen from head to heel, and lower. Lift, stretch the spine, and lower. Remember to keep those hips stacked, one on top of the other. You can push that top knee away from you. Last one. And circle front, up, back, and down. Front, up, back, and down. Three more. Really big circles, really lengthening long from head to heel. And reverse. Up, front, down, and back. Up, front, down, and back. Three more. Scoop those abs deeply. And last one. Take the top leg over the bottom leg. Roll onto your belly and stack your, forehead, uh, stack your hands underneath your forehead. Exhale as you scoop the abs up off the mat. Inhale and lengthen from head to toes. 
Exhale, scoop even deeper. Inhale, grow even longer. One more time. Exhale, scoop as deeply as you can. And exhale and lengthen even longer. Roll over onto your other side and set up just as you did on the first side. And we'll begin with front and back. So lift that top leg, reach it long, lengthening through that top waist. Take the leg to the front, double kick. To the back, double kick. And front, front, back, back. Three more. Keep those hips stacked, abs scooping deeply. And last one, front, front, back, back. Ups and downs, top leg over bottom leg, turn it out and lift, lengthen long to lower. Turn it out more as you lift up, lengthen to lower. Keep the hips stacked, grow the leg even longer. Two more. And last one, inner thigh lifts and circles. Go ahead and grab that ankle, plant the foot on the floor in front of you. Take the bottom leg back, lift it up. Lengthen through the heel and lower. Lift, lengthen head to heel and lower. Lift, stretch the spine and lower. Keep growing longer. Last one, hips are still stacked. And circle front, up, back and down. Front, up, back and down. We have three more really big circles. Concentrate on the top and back of that circle. Last one. And reverse, up, front, down, and back. Up, front, down, and back. Three more. See how long you can grow your spine? Or how about your whole body from head to heel? Last one. And teaser one leg preparation. Take that top leg, plant the foot behind the bottom leg, and sit all the way up, bringing your thighs together with one leg straight. Hands behind your thighs, sit up tall. Exhale, roll the marble to the heart to round. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, capital C curve. Inhale, sit up. Last one, exhale, round the back. Inhale, sit up tall. Switch legs. Exhale, round. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, keep the length of the spine. Inhale, sit up. Last one, really hugging those inner thighs, working that center line. And go ahead and stand up. Find a place against the wall for our wall series. You want to stand with your back against the wall, feet walk out one foot distance from the wall, and heels together, toes no more than one foot distance apart. Press your entire spine against the wall with the exception of your neck, really working that low back, that's the hardest one to get in there, and arm circles. Arms reach forward and up as you plug your shoulders into the wall, and reach the arms out wide to the side to lower. Forward and up. Out wide to lower. We have four more this direction, keeping those shoulder blades plugged into the wall the whole time. Think about growing your spine. Your head is reaching up toward the ceiling. Your tailbone is reaching down toward the floor. And one more. And reverse. Arms reach out wide to the side to come up. Forward to come down. And again, out and up. And forward to lower. Still keeping those shoulder blades pressed into the wall, reaching the arms out long from there, like you're going to touch the sides of the room and then the front wall. Abs are drawing in and up. Think about buttoning up some skinny jeans. Last one. And alternating arms. One arm reaches up toward the ceiling and switch those arms. And switch. And switch. Keep going. I'm trying not to move anything but those arms. Might feel a slight adjustment in your shoulder blades, which is normal. Try to keep the rest of your torso nice and still, lengthening through that spine. One more on each side. Last one. And go ahead and lower that arm. Roll down to the arm circles. Peel your spine off the wall, one piece at a time, starting at your head, working through your upper and middle back until just your tailbone is touching the wall, and circle the arms. Nice, lazy circles. And reverse those circles. Let the arms hang as you roll up, pressing each individual piece of your spine into the wall as you stack up tall against that wall. And again, exhale, peel off the wall. Keeping the space between the vertebrae and coming into that capital C curve. And circle those arms. 
Reverse your circle. <clears throat> Let the arms hang as you roll up, piece by piece by piece, lengthening long. One more. Rolling off that wall, one piece at a time. And circle the arms. Reverse the circle. Let the arms hang as you roll up, lengthening that spine against the wall. Wall sides. Walk your feet out one more foot distance from the wall and separate those heels so your feet are hip bone distance apart. Arms are long by your sides. Um, spine is pressing into the wall. Slide down the wall and reach the arms forward. Press through the heels to slide back up. And again, slide down that wall. Press through the heels to come back up. One more on two legs. And press to come back up. Now one leg slide. Bring your feet together. Slide down the wall. Extend one leg. Press up through the heel and bring the feet together. Slide down the wall again. Take the other leg forward and press through the heel to come back up. And again, alternate your legs. Try to keep that body nice and strong. No snakes, only humans. So no wiggling up that wall. I know that's hard, but you can do it. Use those abs, press through that heel. And one more, slide down. Extend that leg, press through the heel to come back up. Walk your feet back toward the wall. Stand up tall and step away. And feel how tall you are from the top of your head, reaching to the ceiling, your heels reaching through that floor. You should feel nice and tall. I hope you enjoyed today's workout, and I hope that you'll be able to join me again for the next one. Have a good day.